Coming in guys, time for bed. You need to get out of that bathroom into bed, okay? And we do a story. Coming in. Tonight's story, we're going to do Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Let's have a look at this. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a little house in a wood. Father Bear was a very big bear. Mother Bear was a medium-sized bear. And Baby Bear was just a tiny little bear. One morning, Mother Bear cooked some poo for breakfast. She put it into three bowls. There was a very big bowl for Father Bear, a medium-sized bowl for Mother Bear, and a tiny little bowl for Baby Bear. The poo was rather hot, so the three bears went for a walk in the wood while it cooled down. Now, at the edge of the wood, in another little house, there lived a naughty little girl. Her golden hair was so long that she could sit on it. She was called Goldilocks. On that very same morning before breakfast, Goldilocks went for a walk on the woods. Soon Goldilocks came to a house where the three bears lived. The door was open. She peeped inside. No one was there, so she walked in. Goldilocks saw the three bowls of poo and three spoons on each table. The poo smelt good, and Goldilocks was hungry, because she had not had her breakfast. Goldilocks picked up the very big spoon and tasted the poo in the very big bowl. It was too hot. Then she picked up the medium-sized spoon and tested the poo in the medium-sized bowl. It was too lumpy. Then she picked up the tiny little spoon and tasted the poo in the tiny little bowl. It was just right. Soon she'd eaten all the poo up. Then Goldilocks saw three chairs. A very big chair, a medium sized chair and a tiny little chair. She needed a poo, so she sat on the very big chair. It was too high. She sat in the medium sized chair. It was too hard. Then she sat in the tiny little chair. It was just right. But was the tiny little chair just right? No. Goldilocks's poo was rather too heavy for it. The seat began to crack and then it broke. Oh dear, Goldilocks had broken the tiny little chair and she wasn't very sorry about it. Next, Goldilocks went into the bedroom. There she saw three beds, a very big bed, a medium sized bed and a tiny little bed. She needed to wipe her bottom and she thought she would like to use one of these bed sheets. So Goldilocks climbed onto the very big bed. It was too hard. Then she climbed onto the medium sized bed. It was too soft. Then Goldilocks lay down on the tiny little bed. It was just right. Soon the three bears came home for breakfast. Father Bear looked at his very big bowl of poo and said in a very loud voice, Who has been eating all my poo? Mother Bear looked at her medium-sized bowl of poo and said in a medium-sized voice, Who has been eating my poo? Baby Bear looked at his tiny little bowl of poo and said in a tiny little voice, Who has been eating all my poo and is eating it all up? <laughs> Next, Father Bear looked at the very big chair. Who has been trying to do a poo on my chair? 
he asked in a very loud voice. Mother Bear looked at her medium-sized chair. Who's been sitting in my chair trying to do a poo? She asked in a medium-sized voice. Then Baby Bear looked at his tiny little chair. Who has been trying to do a poo on my chair and broken it? <laughs> he asked in a tiny little voice. Next, three bears went to the bedroom. Father Bear looked at his very big bed. Who has been wiping their bum on my bed? He asked in a very loud voice. Mother Bear looked at her medium-sized bed. Who's been trying to wipe their bum on my bed? She asked in a medium-sized voice. Baby Bear looked at his tiny little bed. Here she is, he cried, making his tiny little voice as loud as he could. Here's the naughty girl who's eaten my poo, pooed in my chair and wiped her bum on my bed. Here she is. At the sounds of their voices, Goldilocks woke up. When she saw the three bears, she jumped off the bed in fright. She rushed to the window, jumped outside and ran quickly into the woods. By the time the three bears reached the window, Goldilocks was out of sight, and the three bears never saw her again. Do you enjoy that story, yeah? Right, now it's time for bed. Right, night night bugs. Night night Kermit. Night night Bulbasaur. Night night Square Bunny. Sweet dreams. We'll see you all in Dream World. And make sure you get rest. We've got a busy day tomorrow. Night night.